Hello everyone, happy to see you here and today we have a really interesting challenge square root of x plus y equal to 7 and x plus square root of y equal to 11 and right now let's solve this really interesting question. So how can you do this? First of all I suggest you to subtract, let's subtract from this expression, let's subtract the second equation. So let's do this right now. So what do we have right here? Our first step is to subtract from this one, we subtract this one. So as a result square root of x plus y, so we have square root of x plus y. Let's plug it, let's write this inside parentheses because this is a complicated expression. We subtract our second equation. So x plus square root of y equal to, we have right here 7 minus 11. Okay, let's write this in a full uh, right here, 7 minus 11. Really great. So this is our first step. We subtract from our first equation, we subtract the second one. Right now let's simplify this a little bit. Let's open our parentheses. So right here, what do we have? We have a plus sign. So we it is the cancel this parenthesis, so we have square root of x plus y minus x and minus square root of y because we have minus sign behind this parenthesis and this is equal to minus 4. Yeah, we have right here, we have minus 4. Right now, let's group our square roots, uh, so expression with the square root. So right here we have square root of x, square root of y. Let's group it, for example, in this place. And x and y, let's group it in the beginning, in this place. So let's do this right now. So from here, what do we have right here? y minus x y minus x and the next thing plus square root of x minus square root of y so plus square root of x and minus square root of y equal to minus 4. Okay right now let's write this expression inside parentheses we can easily do that because we have a plus sign okay so we can easily take this expression inside parentheses and this expression inside parentheses really great. What are we going to do next? Let's uh, factor from here minus 1, because we have right here x and y in this order, right here we have y and x. So it's really a great thing to, to write right here minus behind this parenthesis. So we have right here minus, and inside parenthesis we will have like x minus y, x minus y. And plus this expression, square root of x, so absolutely the same expression, minus square root of y, equal to minus minus 4. Really great. And right now, let's change right here position. We can easily change position because we have minus right here and we have plus right here. We can easily change position. It's not a multiplication. Okay, so right here, what do we have? As a result, this expression we're going to write at first. So we have right here square root of x minus square root of y. And in the second place, let's put this expression minus x minus y inside parentheses. Minus x, x minus y. Okay, equal to minus minus 4. So I hope you understand this step. This is like a tricky step right here, but we need to factor our challenge. This is the main goal to this challenge. We need to factor our question. And we're a little bit closer to this goal right here. So right now let's look at this expression x minus y. Let's write this expression as square. No, let's look at it. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, we can write here expression this one. We don't change it. Square root of x minus square root of y minus right here. Let's write this expression as, so let's write this x as square root of x square, it changed nothing because square root of x to the second power equal to x, and minus absolutely the same thing with y. So square root of y we have right here, square, and equal to minus 4. It changed nothing for us because this is absolutely the same expression, but right now, on the in another, in another perspective, this is our, for example, a, and this is our b, we have a square minus b square. So we have a difference of squares, and if you know a little bit about algebra, you need to know about this formula. So we have right here a square minus b square. So this is equal to a plus b, for example, let's go with the plus sign, times a minus b, a minus b. Okay, so right now let's plug in this uh, expression right here into this place. Let's do this. So we have right here square root of x minus square root of y at first in, in the first parenthesis minus right here we're gonna factor this a plus b a minus b. So as a result we have square root of x plus square root of y square root of x plus square root of y and times another parenthesis square root of x minus square root of y equal to minus 4. Okay, and right now, really interesting moment because we have absolutely the same expression, square root of x minus y, and right here we have square root of x minus y. So we can easily factor this expression. Let's do this. So as a result, we're going to factor this square root of x minus square root of y, and in parentheses, what do we have right here? 1 minus this expression. So we have right here 1 minus square root of x minus square root of y because we have it inside parentheses. So square root of x minus square root of y. Okay, and this is equal to minus 4. 
Right now, let's multiply it both sides by minus 1. We have minus 4, this is not a great uh, value for us to work with, because we have minus, it's better for us to work with the plus, okay? So let's multiply it both sides by minus 1. Really great. And right now, what do we have as a result? Let's multiply this minus 1 by this parenthesis. Let's don't touch this one. So as a result, we have square root of x minus square root of y. Yeah, we have right here this expa And right now, let's multiply this minus 1 to this, to this parenthesis and to this value on the right side. So if we multiply minus 1 by this expression, we have, as a result, we change all of these signs. And we change in order a little bit. Let's start, for example, with this square root of x plus square root of y minus 1 equal to equal to 4. As you can see, we finally factor our question. So from the beginning until this uh, part, we factor our, our challenge. So right now, if you look closely, we have a product of two parentheses. Okay, we have the first parenthesis, we have square root of x square root of x minus square root of y. This is our first parenthesis. And we have also the second parenthesis. So we have square root of x plus square root of y and minus 1. We have two two parentheses, the first one and the second one. But more interesting moment when we look on the right side. On the right side we have 4. It's not a huge value, it's not um, the hard to express, how can we, it's not a hard question, how can we express this 4? We can express this 4 in uh, three, I guess, uh, three expressions. So the first one, this parenthesis is equal to 2 and this parenthesis is equal to 2. Or the second one, 4 and 1. And right here, 1 and, and 4. And a lot of students ask me why can we put negative right here? Because we have square root. We are working only with with this with this value, so it's it's better for us to work with positive ones because we have square root right here, and the square root of a negative value is a complex unit, and we are not interested in this. So how can we solve this uh, this part? How can we find this square root of x and square root of y, or how can we find x and y when we know the combination? So it works only when two two four one and one four. Right now I'm going to show you a great approach. So let's add both equations. This one we add to this one. As a result, we cancel this square root of y. So as a result, we have 2 square root of x minus 1. So if we add all of the things right here, if we add this, as a result, we have 2 square root of x, 2 square root of x minus 1. But in the same way, we can easily add our combinations. Because when we work with the left side, when we add this, we need to add our combinations. So as a result, we have we have three combinations. So if we add both equations, we will have like 2, 2. We have 4, the first combination. 4, 1, we have 5. And 1, 4, we have also 5. So as a result, this expression will be in the, this in the, this, uh, in the, this part. Okay, 4, 5, or, or 5. Okay, right now, let's bring a minus 1 from our left side to right side. It's not an equation, but uh, in the same way we can do this. Because if this expression equal to 4, 5 or 5, if we add uh, if we add 1 to our right side, we will have like the 2 square root of x equal to 5. The first combination we have 5 or 6 or we have, we have 6. Really great. And right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. We can also divide this, this part by 2. Okay, we can also divide it because we have 2 square root of x. We can divide right here by 2. As a result, we cancel this 2. So as a result, square root of x is the set of combinations. We have right here 5 over 2. We divide our right side. We have right here 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 6 divided by 2, we have, we have right here, we have 3. So square root of x, square root of x equal to 5 half or, or 3. And right now, if you're talking about integers, I guess this question is about integers because we will have like a lot of combinations if you're talking about non-integers numbers. If you're talking about integers, so square root of x equal to only we have three. So square root of x equal to equal to three. This is one and only integer solution to this question. This is not integer solution, but if if your question looks like you need to find all combinations, you need to work with this five half. But I guess my question is about integers. This is about integers, so square root of x equal to 3, so from here x equal to equal to 9. And this is our integer x, and as a result let's find our y. But where can we find our y? Uh, of course from the beginning I guess we have right here square root of x plus y equal to 7. This is expression from the beginning. So from here our y equal to 7 minus square root of x. Okay, square root of x. So from here, our y equal to 
7 minus square root of 9 equal to 3. So 7 minus 3 equal to equal to 4. Right now, let's, che let's check this. Okay, let's do this. This is our integer, uh, the second integer solution. But right now, let's check it. So right here, let's write our proof, proof to this challenge. Let's first of all, let's write our equation. Square root of x plus y equal to 7. And x plus square root of y equal to 11. From here, let's check all of the thing. Square root of x, we have right here 3. Absolutely th uh, the same thing. We have right here 3 plus y equal to 4. So 3 plus 4 equal to 7. Really great. And right now x, we have right here 9 plus square root of y. y equal to 7. So square root of 4 equal to 11, which is absolutely correct expression. So if you're talking about integer solution, so let's write our final answer to this challenge. So our answer, our answer, if you're talking about the pairs of solutions x and y, okay, integers, integers, our answer is the pairs 3, uh, 9, yeah, we have right here 9, and y equal to 4. This is, these are our solution to this challenge if you're talking about integers. If you're talking about non-integers number, maybe real number roots right here, you need to work with this with this five half a little bit, but I guess it's enough. For, for students, it's enough to work with integers because if students don't need to solve this challenge according to real numbers, it's a really weird thing. The main thing is a method how they solve this challenge, okay? And when they understand the method, they can easily solve this uh, real number root, real number parts. So our integers is uh, our pairs of integer solution nine and nine and four. So we hope you understand this explanation. Also write a question down into the comment section, write your thoughts down into the comment section about this question. It will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you for your time, thank you for your support. See you in the next videos and have a great day.